Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whatever time of day it is for you, I'm glad you're here. I'm um, gonna do a little work in our bag journal today. Um, see what we see moving forward. Uh, I know some people are kind of making some. They are inspired, so that's fantastic. I hope you're following along to kind of figure out some cool stuff we can do. I have a stack of stuff that I have been setting aside as I've been making. Um, you probably will see some of these things be made in other videos. Uh, so we're just going to move on forward. So as a reminder, this is our colorway. And our theme is boho, ocean, cottage, core kind of a thing. So we got our color scheme here. So. I'm going to just start. We're going to at least do one page in each signature. I'm going to try and do this kind of fast. Um, but yeah, we want to have a little bit of something on every page because that was that was what was encouraged by all of our our lover loverly subscribers. So here we need something. So on this side, we have a pocket. We have space here. I love this. I'm not going to do anything else to this, I don't think. Um, and we're just going to keep on moving forward. This could have a little something. I'm thinking like a little corner tuck or something. Or, let's see, this is some eco dye. I kind of like this as is. Maybe we'll just add some... I should have gotten some stamps out, so maybe we'll come back to some of these pages. But I want to put a little something on this side because this is a nice sturdy page. I'm just looking at some of the pre-made stuff here that I have or some things that I have set aside. I have this idea for a little, a little corner tuck up here, just a little something to tuck some other things in. So let's do that. So first off, I have this little, um, this little leaf. So when I was cleaning, I was tucking stuff aside because I was like, oh, hmm, yeah, let's see what we got going on. And then I grabbed some of our fabric scraps here too to add a little something extra. <clears throat> um, so yeah, let's see what we got. Oh, you know what? We have some of these fun things too. That'll match one of these. I like this little birdhouse. Okay, this is already turning into more than I had planned on. So we have this. I have this little pre-made corner. So we're going to just decorate this and put it on. Let's do it. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Let's, let's ink it because it's a little bit different. Let's do some pink. I need my... Uh oh, there we go. Thought I couldn't get into my drawer here for a second where I keep my little daubers. So I'm just going to ink this up a little bit. Give it some pink. Pink pizzazz. And we're going to get you on here right away gonna glue it down and then we're gonna put some fun fun jazz on here hope you guys are having a good day I did not sleep well last night so and my son has been sick because he got a cold from school so I'm wondering if I'm still I'm still struggling with the last cold that I got from him going bringing home from school so hopefully I won't be coughing too much today, but that was a thing that's been happening. Okay, so that's gonna go on there. I really do like this bird hop. I'm gonna put this on. It's pretty sticky, but I'm gonna add a little extra glue to it just in case. I'm using up some bits and pieces. Let's go here. Maybe we got a little bird or something. Maybe we'll find a little bird later. Or maybe we have a journaling card that's got a bird on it that we can tuck into this pocket. That would be fun. And what did I do with that leaf? The leaf. 
that I had here. Dupe. Okay, so let's ink you. Let's ink that with peacock feathers. Just for some, some extra here. Give it some pizzazz. Some extra color and fun. This is just die cut when I was cleaning. Cleaning up my studio because I did make it happen. We got some stuff done. I'm just going to do it on half of here, and then we might be able to tuck something else in there, too. So let's go about here. Oh, it's very tone on tone there, but we will fix that in a second. I'm going to take one of these flowers. I'm going to take a pink one. <clears throat> so this is just sometimes when you're working in your journals, just look at your stuff, find some different things, find something different, find something neat that you like, and just start going. Get your stuff out. Just have a play. Okay, like that. Feel like it needs a little something else. But maybe that'll be happening from what we put in our pockets. Okay, that's really cute. Maybe it's kind of heavy. I want to kind of, I think, put that on a top someplace. So we will find something else to tuck in here. Do I have a tiny little ticket or something here to tuck in? I think I probably do. Or even a sticker that can be used someplace else. That would be fun too. Oh, here. Look, I have... Oh, this is perfect because it's kind of like... Let's do that. Oh, yep, yeah, that is perfect. Okay, do we want to ink the edge? Let's ink it in a little green. So, another dauber. Should have just gotten my daubers already. I knew I'd use them. So I'm just putting a little green on here just for extra flair. Little thing to tuck in here. Okay, perfect. Okay, I, I actually really like this now. I'm gonna ink this page a little titch and I'm gonna ink it with some purple. Oh, that's right. I don't have a dauber for that, but you, I have this. I have a makeup sponge here that we can use. So I'm just inking the edge of the page now. And then we need to tuck something in here. And I'm going to ink on this side as well, I think. Bring them together a little bit. Oh, that's fine. So I don't think I'm going to do much more to this side. I think this side I'm happy with. And just let it be its beautiful paper. And then that way, whoever has this journal later on will have extra space to do their own thing. Okay, let's find a journal card to stick in here nice good sized one or what else I know I've got some other goodies I've tucked in that are ready to go so I also have like these beautiful postcards that could be nice although I think that would be better this way or we can make that a pocket on the page too actually no let's do I like this do I do I I've got lots of tags that I've made recently, but they all have like top edges. You know what we could do? We could do a little scrap of paper. Let's do that little piece of paper here. I like it. I like it. Although if we had something with bird, oh, here we go. Birds. Yes. Okay. Yep. 
Perfect. Love it. Cool. All right. So that page is done. This page is done. Let's move to this next signature and do something fun in that. <clears throat> I like this. Do we want to put something on here? I think... I kind of like the brick wall, but that might be much. Let's do, I kind of want to put a little focal point on here just for funsies. Let's do a bird since we kind of are doing a, some birds today. Let's find something fun to put on here. Let's see. Not a quail. Oh, you're kind of fun. Oh, we have some, I have a duck that might want to go on something different. Hmm, a little kestrel. So we do have some, I feel like this hummingbird needs to go someplace. Oh. Um, let's see. I wish I had one that looked like it was like on a wall or something. I wonder if I've got something that is more. Oh, this one with the blue could look nice. That's kind of cottagey. Okay, that's an option. Option one. Some beachy. Oh, a robin. That's another option. Just kind of going quick here. All right, we'll see if one of those is gonna work for us or not. I like the Robin. You can make him a little tuck at the same time or this friend. I like this one, I think, with the blues. Okay. So let's hit him. We're going to do the same thing that we were doing before. We're going to hit some fun colors here because this is not, this is a bright, beautiful, vibrant journal. So we're just going to lean into it. Probably need to add some more sparkle, some more trim, something. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so we're going to put him down here. I feel like we need a little something behind. Do I have a scrap available that looks cool? I should, oh wait, I do have some stuff here. Let's grab one of these. Let's do that. Let's ink you with the green. Let's do green. Green dopper. So I have my little bin of all kinds of goodies that we've been using. And I'm just pulling some stuff out of there. That's the nice thing about having a little bin or a container of some sort when you're working on a specific journal. It'll make things go a lot faster if you do have some of that stuff readily available. Now, we're going to put this here. I love it. Maybe cheat you in a little. We should have brought this more to the edge. That's okay. That's okay. Feels like it needs one more thing, but maybe it'll be over top. We'll go over top. So I was going to make it a tuck. Do I still want to make it a tuck? I think so. We're just going to glue it thoroughly like here so we can still tuck a little something in there. Well, that side was cute too. Oh, well, tis what it is. So I'm going to not glue right here on my book. Pick up the side and this side really well. And we're going to go here. And now we're going to add a little bit more down in the corner. <clears throat> I feel like we need a little sparkle or something. Let's 
sparkle plants. I don't know. What do we got? Let's see. I've got some little bits and pieces. Is this too busy? I don't think so. Let's just take this. Maybe we have like a little word or something we can put on here. Because I like that. So let's just do it. We're just going to keep on building here. I know that's not the same way it was on there a second ago, but that's all right. We're going with it. Oh, there's, there's one fly. One fly that is just being a pain. Okay, now right there, what do we got? I set aside some interesting stickers. These are all really fall. I don't like that. <clears throat> what else do we, oh, we do have some things. Okay, what have I got here? Oh, fall in love with the process and the rest will come. Oh, I like it. Let's do it. Is it the right color scheme? It's kind of a purpley pink. I think it'll work. Oh, I just saw a better one. This one, fall in love with yourself. Let's do it. I think that'll be great on there. These were, these stickers were, I'm sure they're from like, um, like planner journals and things like that, but they were in with a bunch of stuff I got. I think that's perfect right there. Perfect colors. We got bringing in some gold, just brings that little extra right there. So that's good. Now let's put something in this pocket. I think this will also need a little piece of paper or something. We're just going to put this recipe card in here because our stuff, like it's pretty the way it is. I'm not going to do anything else. So that's like a perfect journaling card. Maybe we'll add something. You know what? Let's do, let's do a little tab on it or something goes about like that. I like that. Unless I have a journaling card that is. Oh, there. Done. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Love it. That actually is great. Okay. So that one's done. Next signature. See if we can zoom through. Um, let's pick another page. Not that page. What do we want to do here? I just want to pick something interesting that I don't want to do too much with. Like, I want it to be just itself. Yes. <clears throat> now, where did I put that? Yes. Okay. So, this is a hidden paper clip, and I'm going to put it on the edge of the paper because this already has some interesting stuff here and there we could we can decorate this so we're going to put a little something on here and then we can fill that some just using up some stuff that's what we're doing let's see do we have let's see let's see let's see a bit of pink let's do a little pink some texture and I'm going to do a little oh let's do that I'm going to have this dip off the edge here like that and then this one's going to go here I think this needs a butterfly or something but we're also going to add a little ink here so peacock feathers is a lot. It was kind of too white on that side. I'm going to try and fray this a little on that side. Okay. So that's fine. Let's do a little pink on this one. Oh, I like that better, actually. Let's do it that way. 
okay. <clears throat> All right, so some glue there. Stick you down. And then we'll put a little more glue on top of this one. I need to refill my bottle for sure. And then See what we can do with just a couple little scraps here and there. Now we need a butterfly. And I know I had some out the other day, but I don't know that I do anymore. So let me see what I got in here. <clears throat> Maybe I will have a little something in this little bin. But I'm not seeing it. Not seeing anything in there I like. What else do we have around? I have this other little bin of garbage. Well, it's not really garbage, but it's stuff that I can use. Random stuff that I threw in when I was cleaning off my desk that I can use for clusters and things. There is a butterfly in here, but it's, or I think it's more like a bee. That won't work. I have an orange flower. Well, we'll set that aside because we can use that. Some little tiny tags. Come on, gotta find that one thing. That one thing. Where are you, one thing? Anything good under here? Nope. <clears throat> okay, back to the little bin. Maybe I have a piece of washi. Oh, hang on. Let's use this little cup. It's just a little coffee cup. Let me, I gotta fix it. It's got, there. Little coffee cup on a little piece of paper. Okay, that's cute. And pink. See, you don't have to do much sometimes, and then stuff just starts to kind of come together. And then this paper clip could be moved to other places too. So that's on there. What can we tuck in this pocket or paper clip? I think we'll do a piece of paper or something. I like, okay, so this is flowers, that's bees. That looks cute. Let's do one more. Do we have? another piece of paper okay so that's what we're doing we're going to just start filling these pages now i want to put a little something on here not too much i have some flowers on this sticker sheet that we're going to put on here <clears throat> just a little extra there, perfect. Mm, I kind of want to ink the edge of this though. Let's do it. See if we can do it without having to take all of our stuff off. I just chose peacock feathers. I have to slide this off, I guess. No way around it. I think one of the next things we might need to make is a book board because as we keep going here it's going to be more and more difficult to work kind of on the flat surface so if you haven't seen my video on that we'll probably be making one of those so it'll be kind of like another little thing i don't know if i like this one there or not you can't really see it unless we oh you know what let's put this one here i like that i think better yeah and then that's too plain on this side. And we got like a recipe card on this side. Okay, this is fun. 
because I just want to tuck a piece of paper in here. So I am just, this is just a cute piece of stationery. And this is just going in here. And then we should do something on here really quick. But I don't think we want to do much on it. Let's just, let's go ahead and ink it. We'll use our peacock feathers again. Because I kind of want to leave the recipe on there. So what do we want to do? We want to put a little something on there. Do we have just a, oh, you know what? I have a little pie. This is cute. Baked apple. So I have a little pie sticker. We could do like a tiny little cluster right here. That'd be kind of cute. Yeah. Let's do, I wonder what it'll show up best on. Okay, that's cute. Let's do that. So we're kind of using some of the same stuff we used on the other page, which is good. That kind of will help bring everything together. I am inking this. I probably, that's fine. Boop. So there we go. There's that. Now we'll move on to the next one really quick. That's a little sticky. Let me put some plastic in here. So it doesn't stick to our page as we move on to the next one. <clears throat> I'm not feeling like doing those right now. Let's keep going. What do we see? What do we see? What do we see? I love this. I don't think anything needs to be done to that. How about... Mm, that's pretty. That's pretty. You know what? Let's do... Let's do these two pages. So I'm going to ink this one. Let's ink it in pink. So we'll start with that. I'm going to have to get my paper out here so I can get these better. Because I'm thinking this might be our, our last one for the day. I know I was talking about doing like a number of them, but I think I'm running out of time. I got a lot of other stuff I need to do today. And I was waiting for a video to load so I could edit it. So I thought, well, while that's loading, I can shoot a video quick to give myself another thing to do. Right? Why not? And let's do this one, because I'm thinking what's on this side. That's a little bit of distress on that side, too, which could be cool. But let's do, let's put another bird or something on here. Although, let's see, this is what I'm going to I like the wrinkles on this one, so I'm just giving it a little more texture here. <clears throat> And this side, what do we have happening? Nope. Okay. Hmm, what are we gonna do? Okay, let's, let's, where did we put that bird? The hummingbird? No. The robin, we had a robin? Does this robin look good? No. I don't like that either. Maybe we'll have to come back to this page then because I'm not feeling not feeling what I was hoping to. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to put some of this paper lace on here. Let's do it. So about there. Big scissors. I guess it, I don't know if this is called paper lace or not. It was in a bunch of stuff that my mom gave me from when she was, she used to scrapbook. I used to scrapbook. 
don't do that anymore. Um, not that there's anything wrong with scrapbooking because there 100% is not. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so that's going to be fun to glue. I'm going to get this on here. And then we're going to probably put something over top of it so it will kind of get glued down some more. But I'm going to try and hit it as much as I can in all the little swirly dirlies. That's a technical term. Swirly dirlies. Feel free to use that one. Swirly dirlies, especially on the edge here. In the corners where my finger is. Okay. Now, I think it was like this. Yes. Okay, perfect. Love it. Okay, so that is there. Super fun. Wish I had like a giant butterfly to put on here. I should look through some of my coloring books that I have and see if we do have something like that. That would be perfect for this. So maybe we'll leave it right here until I can find that perfect thing because I feel like a giant butterfly or something like that on this page would be perfect to offset this big thing. So we have something over here, maybe a butterfly. I think a butterfly would be good. So I'm just double checking through my stuff to see what I've got happening here. Yeah, I'm thinking a big butterfly. So we'll have to come back. I'll come back to that, find something to use there. And then I'm um, cause I'm looking in my, my stash stuff that I have here and I'm not seeing it. It's not seeing what I want, but I do love what is happening here. I think we'll add some other texture. Oh, that's kind of fun. Let's just do it. Let's do it. I'm afraid of the edge a little. I'm gonna put that like that. All right, that might take some fabric. Yeah, we're gonna fabric tack that and then we're gonna have to let this dry anyway. So this will be a good spot to pause. Good spot to pause and then see if we can find what we need and then I'll come back to it. I think that might be the best bet. So we'll pick up there. As this is a work in progress. So I hope you guys found this video helpful or at least entertaining. And I'd love to hear how your bag journals are going, if you're making one. So leave a comment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Okay? You guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you soon. Bye. And don't forget, out with your heart.